So you have guys two of wands. You have king of swords in reverse. You have a star in reverse. You have four of wands in reverse. You have nine of swords. And you have a debt in reverse. And overall energy you have for this week devil. Oh no, sorry, it's a strange card. Ooh, never had this card in reverse versa situation. Okay, so we have strained in reverse. So some of you might be dealing with Leo. And this Leo is not really uh, acting properly, would say. Um, I'm sorry, not sure why my camera is moving today. Okay, for others, you might be dealing with Aquarius. Another air sign, Libra Gemini. Yeah, or oh, Scorpio. So, guys, I see you planning your future. Or wishing to plan your future with someone, some significant someone. <sighs> but you don't see for some reason long term. But you're still planning. Not sure why. For others, do you feel that you've been planning your future with this person? But you'll find out that this person has some kind of addiction. Could be that he's a cheater. He or she is a cheater. Or have gambling problems, alcohol problems, drug problems. Uh... Yeah, gambling comes quite strongly. So, and obviously, knowing that you can't plan the wedding, you just not seeing the future. Star in reverse. You start seeing this person in reverse, and I think some of you might even start distancing yourself from this person. I do feel Feb January and February energies uh, by doing readings that many of signs, almost all signs, moving away from the, what's not serving them. Things coming into the light, information coming to the light, what they're feeling like, you know, it's just like for everyone it's different. For others, do you think, you know, maybe you had... Uh, been planning bright future to have a business together, go to business to someone together, and you're just gonna find out that it's actually like for some of you even think that this person maybe was jailed from similar things or been caught by police or but she just had a court something just like ah, it's just like you're gonna be like, why on earth did I trust this person? But don't let yourself to focus of negative things. Let that come to the situation. You know, see that those swords are just in your head. See there is a sun behind. Same like in this card, you know. In this now, you're just seeing problems, 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 problems. But you're not looking for the solutions. Same in death in reverse, you know. You concentrating on this dark energy. You concentrating look on the raven skull and stuff. You know, like hoping this dead come. You know, to someone to come in and end the situation. But turn around. It's like a sun card over there. Someone is enjoying it already. You know, join those people. <laughs> And this person is not going to change their way. That person is won't change their ways, guys. It won't. They can promise you a world. They won't change. At least not now. I'm not talking forever. But at least now they won't change. No. 
you need to see that you able to move forward you need to see that guys so let's get some clarifiers on the situation let's see what kind of additional messages we can get for you sorry guys i start losing my voice by the end of the readings <coughs> For others, yeah, messages coming through um, for a few of you is going to be that the person you vet or uh, the person you're trying to get a job with, uh, you're going to scare them away with your negativity. You know, if you're going to go to work interview or something, don't dwell of, oh, yeah, I know I made mistakes. There, yeah, hmm, yeah, it's happened. Yeah, don't even mention. Talk about good things. Don't talk about your failures. Yeah, it's good to mention, you know, yes, I did, mis you know, fail in this, but I learned this and then was able to turn situation to that. In this case, yes, please do kind of situation like this. Because I do feel like Lee, you're looking at you, you know, and you're just like, oh. You're scaring them away. Or you're trying to be like, oh, yeah, of course you should. What do you think? You you shouldn't hire me. What? You can have a better candidate or whatever. Don't be arrogant. No. For some of you, do feel, you know, if you're some business, um, bigger company or something, don't confront your boss. Don't blame your boss for something happened. Don't be too arrogant about your mistakes at work. Or it could be different. It could be both very arrogant and trying to, you know, um, put you down. And why do you need to stay in this kind of environment when the boss is putting you down? Is it worth to look in, uh, taking that? Or is it lock, l worth to look around and see the sunshine? So we have ten of wands, seven of wands, and strength, upright. How beautiful. And we have king of cups. So maybe this person, water sign, person, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, might come to your rescue in this situation and help you. Maybe it's your partner, uh, maybe it's your friend, maybe it's your family member. But look at it, the bright red color coming through. I just love it. I just love it. Ten talks about coming to the end. Even if you don't see how you can end the situation, you are in it. You will be able. You're almost there. You'll need to fight for it. You, of course, will need to fight for it. But if you want to... You have enough strength to fight for what you want. That's enough. But you need to know what you're worth. Is. And what is worth fighting for. It's up to you, you know. You know, if you find out about, you know, your fiancé. That uh, husband or wife to be, you know, is gambler, alcoholic or something, you know, other stuff going on, drugs. Do you really want to live your life with them? So fight for what you want and fight for your freedom. Fight for your way out. It all depends on your situation, guys. But, you know, I think those cards just show that universe will help to, you know, you feel more powerful to deal with the situation. So let's pull one card from Whispers of Love. And we have for you, action, speak loudly. <laughs> Express your love through your actions. So, yeah. Um, it's, it's love or any situation, you know, you need to take an action. If you the one who's having problems, if you want to keep your partner, you literally need to do something. You need to turn around, go to rehabilitation centers, go seek um counseling anything do anything if you want to keep this person in your life fight for it but you need to show that you fight it's not like promises no empty promises don't promise anything just show them 
and the message in the book is for you guys. Sometimes saying that you love somebody is not enough. That is required in showing someone how you feel. Put someone's need before your own. You are being asked to do something that will show your love. Here you go. So if you having problems, all addictions is an illness. Seek help. If you admit that you help, if you will, you know, make, right, take a right actions, you will be able to save your job. You will be able to save your family. You will be able to save your partner. But only if you, depends, you know, who's in this situation, you know, it could be vice versa situation, but only if this person going to show action. Okay, come. Uh, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> uh, wishing you all the best. Would like you. Thank you all for all your likes, comments, and subscribing to my channel. Wishing you see you soon. Bye.